Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss a uh, different topic about uh, diesel engine and um, after my video for uh, deleting the DPF filter I received many comments about this and many people not happy about this I'm not encouraging anybody to delete a uh, DPF filter or uh, this after treatment system and uh, right now I would like to explain uh, how EPA uh, kills a diesel engine on the trucks by uh, lifespan about 50% and we're gonna discuss three major step which EPA did for the truck uh, uh, engine and right now we're gonna discuss first step what they did they implemented EGR uh, system the EGR system, uh, <clears throat> what it's doing, it's take uh, exhaust gases and recirculate it into the chamber. Why are they doing this? Because uh, on the exhaust we have a two bad thing which coming out our pipe. It's a uh, NOx and <coughs> uh, smog or soot. Uh, this uh, and to reduce the NOx, they what they did they implemented EGR. How it works? Uh, we have uh, two different condition which uh, create soot or NOx. Uh, NOx created in high temperature combustion uh, when uh, engine work efficiently good and the uh, soot creates when our chamber is not hot enough and uh, it's uh, we're gonna get less NOx but more soot <coughs> when the recirculation gases go through the EGR cooler and the valve, uh, valve uh, control it by ECU and uh, put it back into the chamber and chamber start to work cooler and uh, we receive less NOx when we receive less NOx but we uh, creating more soot uh, soot is uh, like an, uh, fu uh, not fully un uh, burned fuel and they implemented this one in a truck about uh, I don't know 2003 for big truck I think and this is was step it was first step and engine start to uh, uh, suffer because it's lose power because we getting more suit and more suit coming back into the engine and uh, engine start to wear because the suit end up in the uh, oil and oil when it's circulated by the engine, it uh, <clears throat> uh, clogs some stuff and build up. It make build up inside the engine. Also, it's uh, premature wearing the bearings, also the rings, and uh, this is not good for engine. It was one step what they did uh, to kill the engine. Uh, after this they check on exhaust and they see the smoke too high NOx is low but smoke uh, suit is too high and what they did second step what they did they put a DPF filter the DPF filter what they try to do with DPF filter to reduce the suit the DPF <coughs> how it works when exhaust gases coming here go to the uh, filter this is a very fine filter like uh, one micron and uh, this filter collect this uh, suit inside the filter and when when the suit this build up inside the stop the back pressure goes to the engine and we have somewhere a sensor which measuring the backup pressure 
Oh no, it's over here. This is delta pressure sensor, the differential pressure sensor. And after this, we need to regen, to clean this one. For this purpose, we have DOC. This is like a catalytic converter. What has happened? We have injector here with a fuel. Diesel fuel goes here. When it's hit DOC, it, uh, here is an explosion. And uh, pretty high temperature, about 600 uh, Celsius, start to burn fuel here. And, and this filter getting hot and burn out all soot which collected here. And this is a second step. This step, because this one create more soot, this one they try to burn soot here. When they burn soot here, these things create NOx because the high temperature create NOx. And this is a second step what they did. This step is not good because when it starts to clogging before we have regeneration, we have back pressure. Back pressure not good for your turbo. Also it goes back to the engine. We have too much back pressure and more soup coming into the engine. And this is still not good. And but they not they didn't stop on this. They did third step after this is uh, after 2010. They did one more thing. They added. It's like catalytic converter, but uh, this is a SCR. Uh, they implemented SCR to reduce soot. No, not soot. They reduce the NOx because they already reduce here soot and they try to reduce NOx. They implemented this one. How this one work? We have a here we have an injector and this injector injects urea like a DEF fluid which we have on a gas station. DEF fluid injected. When we need to regeneration, they inject urea. Urea mix here with uh, with NOx, and it's break down to different mole molecules. And right now we have exhaust, a more cleaner exhaust, more fine particles goes out. But this is only theory. And when this truck working, you. <coughs> You didn't smell any bad smell because it's this one is burned so fine particles when you breathe in you're not feeling anything it goes in your lungs and your bloodstream and goes to your brain and right now we we we're gonna check how bad this system and the thinking will reduce pollution but Actually, the pollution not go anywhere because it's go inside the engine, it's burn, it should go outside. But because this system, it's eat too much fuel to inject here to burn through DOC, DPR filter. Also, it's reduce these things, reduce the power. We need more fuel to compensate this. Also, these things. Urea, it's cost money to inject and to manufacture these things and too much expenses and DPF filter and all this after treatment filter system, it's very expensive to build this and make it, you spend more energy to do it and more pollution. Right now we we understand this. If you see the smoke coming from the pipe, you're not gonna breathe this smoke because it's you can see and smell it. But this smoke you cannot smell it and see. You're just breathing. Also, this system not working perfectly. When urea goes inside, 
it should mix uh, with uh, <coughs> NOx these uh, molecules of urea and NOx should mix it and break down and make different formula but many, uh, many of urea just go outside from exhaust and many trees dying because of this alongside the road and when sometimes you're driving behind your truck and you can feel the smell of uh, ammonia which they use to do this one and right now we we have many reasons believe this system it's not doing any good to to environment because if you calculated or spending everything this one it's going to be same amount of the pollution which we got without this system and your engine life going to be three times better without this old system and you shouldn't build new engine because it's cost money it's cost pollution it's cost everything and right now i think i explain what i'm thinking about this system and uh, that's it for now if you have any comments just comment and thank you for watching